Oi! Don't sneak up on a bloke like that. Name's Frederick. Uh, this is my farm. If you've eaten anything in Eastminster, there's a good chance it came from here. Though I seem to be growing less of it than usual. Mm. I hate to say it, but it looks like there's a thief. These numbers aren't adding up. No, none. I would trust the people on this farm with my life. Has to be. They're the only ones who know where I keep the keys to this room. Don't think so. This room is locked up tight. Yes. Bloody annoying, buggers. They came through a few months ago and never left. Displaced a few settlers, too. It's not them, though. We've got a deal. For an extra crate a week, they leave us alone. I admit it's not ideal, but it's how things are in Eastminster now. Don't sound like much, but we ain't exactly gentry. This will hurt. The farm, sure. But it'll be harder for the people of Eastminster. There's already not enough to go around. Well, yes. I work with these people every day. I know them. They know me. They know my family. Hell, some of them are my family. Now we're short and I'm swamped. I don't have time to start a big investigation. I'd really appreciate any help you could give. In the top drawer of the dresser in my bedroom. But don't get any ideas. Uh, thanks. I really do appreciate it. You a new farmhand? You a pig, then? You don't look like a pig, but all right. What's this about a crime? Food missing? No, I hadn't heard. Honest. That's bad, especially since supplies are already short thanks to those damn hooligans. You should ask Gloria about that. She knows everything that happens here. You a new farmhand? What are you on about? <laughs> Please don't tell my dad. Please! He can't know. He'll be so upset. <laughs> what? I never stole food from the storage room. Something worse. Something my dad could never forgive. You'll just go and tell him. All right. I broke something that my dad really cared about. The pocket watch his dad gave him before he died. It hasn't worked in ages, and I thought maybe I could fix it. I thought it'd make my dad happy. I wanted to surprise him. He told me never to touch the thing. I should have listened. I should have never taken it out of his dresser. So I didn't touch the key, just the watch. You don't know my dad like I do. It doesn't matter that it was an accident. If he finds out it's broken and I'm the one who broke it, he'll be extremely upset. I don't, sorry. Honest. You should ask Gloria about that. She knows everything that happens here. Don't recognize your face. What do you want? A crime, eh? Go on, then. Ask your questions. What? That's not possible. We've got a truce with the hooligans outside, and the shed gets locked up every night. We'd have heard someone breaking in. Only someone who knows the place would have been able to pull that off. 
I don't trust the little one, Oscar. He's a wanker. Bad attitude. Not like his brother, Henry. Suppose you should go ask Bill and Pat what they know. Good guys. Hard workers, especially Bill. Bye! I don't like what you're implying. I'd never steal from Frederick. He's a good man. What he does for Eastminster is no small thing. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you caught me. I ain't stealing food from Frederick, though. I wouldn't. That's no big secret. We all have private lives. I don't have to share mine with you. I don't trust the little one, Oscar. He's a wanker. Bad attitude. Not like his brother, Henry. Suppose you should go ask Bill and Pat what they know. Good guys. Hard workers, especially Bill. Bye! Used to feeling like nothing's about to bite me head off. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Morning. And who might you be? What? Are you joking? Sorry, I, I don't get it. Oh, really? Splendid. And how did you meet? Ah, a new friend. Welcome. What can I do for you? Food missing. Oh dear. That's terrible. We were already short, what with the hooligans taking their cut. Oh, but it could only have been someone who works here. The dogs would have gone mad if someone tried to break in. N nothing Honest. No, none. Oh, I, I suppose it could have been one of the farmhands. I hate to make an accusation like that, but I just don't know who else it could be. Both of my boys are angels. <sighs> Probably because I am. Isn't everyone? I don't know anything about any missing food, though. Listen, I'm not lying about the food. I am lying to Frederick, though. The truth is... Oh, I've been grabbing drinks with Wilma every Friday. Wilma's the wife of the man who killed Frederick's father. I quite like her. We get on well. If I'm honest, oh, it's the highlight of my week. Oh, but he would. He never got over his dad's death. To this day, he despises Marley and anyone who associates with Marley's family. Frederick's father was one of the original members of the Good Samaritans. He was betrayed by his best friend, Marley. Marley had a farm too, you see. And he was always jealous of his friend. A jealous friend is no friend at all. You must think I'm terrible. I don't blame you, I am. A life in Eastminster is not an easy one. My friendship with Wilma brought me joy, but... That joy came at the expense of Frederick's pain. I shouldn't have done it. And if I did, I should have told him about it. It wasn't right for me to do behind his back. I honestly don't. I suppose it could have been one of the farmhands. I hate to make an accusation like that, but I just don't know who else it could be. Both of my boys are angels. A new face. Can I help you find something? Shit. This is about the missing food, isn't it? You'll want to know who took it then. It was me. I may be a thief, but I'm not a liar. Does it matter? Before you do anything, 
You should know that telling Frederick the truth will result in my death. Then again, maybe that's what I deserve. Of course not. You would fire me, though. And this job is the only thing that's keeping me safe from them. The hooligans. The ones outside. I ran with them when I was younger. It was either that or starve. As soon as I heard this farm was looking for help, I left. No one here has any clue what I did before. They all think I was just another Vagran. People in Eastminster don't exactly like the hooligans. And for good reason. The things they do. The things I did. It's not who I am anymore. Because I left. I abandoned them. That's an automatic death sentence. They found out where I was. Saw me. Work in the yard. They said they were gonna burn this place down and kill everyone here for helping me. I tried to explain that no one here even knew my past. The only reason they didn't do it was because I said I'd bring them food. Guess they were hungry enough to agree. Oh, Frederick, by the way, I lied about my past and put the farm and your entire family in danger. Cheers. Sorry. Don't mean to be a dick, but no. I don't think you'd appreciate that. No. I know seven crates doesn't sound like a lot. But I don't know if you get how short food is in Eastminster. Frederick already gives him a crate a week. What I gave him on top of that was enough of a bargaining chip to protect the farm in the future. But it wasn't enough to protect me. As soon as I walk out those doors... You're gonna kill every hooligan in Eastminster. Yeah. Good luck with that. The thing about hooligans is that there's always more. I'm not sure I could live with that. Though I'm also not sure what the alternative is. If it's what you decide, just please don't say it's Pat. He's my best mate. I gladly die to protect him. I'm not sure if you met Oscar, but I will say that he could use some discipline. He's Frederick's son, so he'd be forgiven. No matter what you decide, I'll understand. Well, what did you find? No. No, it wasn't. Bill? No. Really? What proof do you have? Damn. That's disappointing. I liked the man. He was a hard worker. Well, I'll have to fire him. Do you know why he did it? Go on. But why? We have an agreement with them. Yes, this makes sense. I never would have hired him if I had known. He can't have changed that much. He's still lying and stealing. Personally, I'd rather starve. Dear Lord, there's more? Well, what did you find? Bill? No, really? What proof do you have? Damn. That's disappointing. I liked the man. He was a hard worker. Well, I'll have to fire him. Do you know why he did it? Go on. But why? We have an agreement with them. Yes, this makes sense. I never would have hired him if I had known. Yes, well, that doesn't change anything. He put my entire family in danger. Well, thanks for your help. All of this isn't what I was expecting. But I believe you. You've done a good thing. I... 
I'm disappointed, but not altogether surprised. What proof do you have? Now hold on. He is my son. But... Yes, I see what you mean. I can't see it being anyone else. I'll have to think about that. He'll be punished, that's for sure. I may have to get creative. He's crossed a line this time. Well, thanks for your help. It wasn't what I was expecting, but I believe you. You've done a good thing, 